Deposit box short term. Is that something you do? Oh, great, great. What time do you open? OK, yeah, I'll be straight over. Thanks. Caught you. Oh, pardon? <laughs> Off to the gym when you should be headed to work. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't suppose you got much chance yesterday, did you, with your gran insisting we all go to Lewis's funeral? Yes, yeah. And I take it you've heard the latest, that your grand's called the police on her, told them it was Claudia who stole her money. They won't investigate. There's no proof of the prison. Well, maybe not, but you know your gran. She'll not let this drop until someone's so in mailbags. Actually, do you know what? I really should get off. I'll see you later. Bye, Mum. Yeah. Yes, I know you're in town. Yeah, I can meet you in Weatherfield. Yeah, with the 30,000 at yeah, Nipple. No look, just a sec. It's going to be a hand. No, no, I'm fine. I, I really do look up there. Hi. Yes. Yeah, OK, speed dial. Yeah, well, whenever suits you. Okay. Yeah, bye. So, uh, there you go. A check. Hmm. How retro. Well, you said you didn't want cash. Who in their right mind walks around with 30 grand in cash? Right. Well, hence the check. A bank transfer would have been a whole lot easier. Underworld. I hope you're not siphoning off company money. No, no, no. It's my money, well. Yours now. So, uh, did you get the petition? You make it sound like we're campaigning against animal testing. It's our divorce, Nick. Yes, I got it. Everything all right? Don't worry. I'll sign it when I get home and I'll send it back to the court. Great. Great. Yes, that's an unusual word for the end of our marriage. Oh, come on, I didn't mean... I hope you will be a lot happier with that woman than you were with me. Goodbye, Nick. Yeah. Goodbye. Yes, Sarah, they're on my desk. OK, well, look, I'll be in the Rovers if you need me. OK, bye. Everything OK? This is all your grand's work. She's never been the same since those HRT patches. Thank you. Lovely young man, isn't he? Look, you do know that I have absolutely nothing to do with Audrey's missing money, don't you? Yeah, well, look, she's in a funny place. Uh, grief does that to people. Yeah, like throwing around wild accusations, laying the blame on anybody but the real culprit. Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Well, I'm more than happy to help this young man and his colleagues with their inquiries. And I'm sure when I urge them, they'll dig deeper and uncover the truth. Hey. Hey. How did the uh, meetings go? Oh, yes. Great. Right, well, I've guessed you've probably not had time to eat. Oh, you guess right. Mm -hmm. And I know that you won't stop for lunch, so I'll give you that. Oh, Sarah, that's lovely. Thank you. <sighs> so, the uh, gossips have been out in force. Eh? Hey. They're saying it was Jenny that was driving the car that hit Liz. You what? Mm. Apparently, Johnny and Jenny have spent all evening in the police station answering questions. Yeah, well, you know what some people like. They've got nothing better to do than gossip, have they? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Oh, that's... That's funny. What? Someone has made a cash deposit to the business account this morning. Cash? 30 grand. I'll speak to Nick about it. He was looking at the accounts earlier, so he might know something about it. You know what? Actually, I think I know what that might be, so, uh, don't worry. I'll speak to him. OK. Well, hello, stranger. I was in here before, you know, just had, uh, stuff to do. Did you have that meeting with Julie Forrester? Uh, no, 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 I moved it. Moved it? Oh, how come? Oh, you know, you know, uh, things to do. What things? Personal stuff. Oh, not business things, then. 
Look, I spoke to Julie. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to take her out for lunch. Muse her properly. No point tracking her across town when we can uh, do business somewhere a bit more at market. Fair enough. Oh, did you manage to go through the accounts? Yeah. All present and correct? Yeah. Oh, good. Did you also notice someone walked into our city centre branch of our bank and deposited 30,000 cash into the company account? I can only assume that someone was you. Where did you get 30,000 cash from, Nick? Oh, hello. Working hard as usual. Got dodgy guts, if you must know. Give me a bit of trap wind. Oh, charming. What are you drinking that for, then? <coughs> oh, yes. Silly me for asking. Sorry. Hello, what's that? Hey, you're kidding me. What's she doing back already? Probably didn't have a cell big enough for her hairdo. Let you out on bail, Claudia, up there. Well, don't get too comfortable, darling, because it won't be long before they've got you banged up again. You don't honestly believe I would steal £80,000? From you, of all people. Yes, in a heartbeat, darling. Then you really don't know me at all. Oh, my God, I wish I didn't. You're not into something dodgy, are you? What? Like knock-off or drugs. <laughs> no, of course not. Then what, Nick? What, and the truth, please, unless you want the, the inland revenue to deal with this. OK. Right, look, the money's mine. I didn't want Elsa to get half of it in the divorce proceedings. Well, more like all of it. So you squirreled it away in the company, hoping she wouldn't notice? Uh, yeah. I'm not proud of myself. Good. And, uh, excuse me, if you had all this, then why did you need to swipe the money her dad left her to buy this place? Because I didn't want to risk my own. Well, you really have turned into a piece of work, haven't you? Yeah, I should have told you earlier. Elsa, more like. OK. Before you go stomping around, she knows. She knows? Yes, yes. I've got an unexpected attack of conscience and wrote her a cheque. The money's coming out of the company bank account in 24 hours. Max, you got my word on that. Oh, like that means anything. I wonder if she wants to take to the cleaners. <laughs> I'm telling you, Nick, you ever try anything like this again? I won't. I won't. Well, good. I know what, if the police come knocking, you're on your own. Like this. Yeah, I said so, didn't I? Yeah, no, but the whole lot. And it's not too late to change your mind. Look, just do it. Well, I only ask because my gran's in the back. So I can see if she'll do you a Brazilian if you want to go the whole hog. You think you're funny? Obviously not. Right, strap yourself in then. Because things are going to get pretty hairy around here. Tough crowd. You ready? Ready. Daniel. It turns out I was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Oh, please. Oh, Daniel. It's his dad I'm furious with. Do you know he had the nerve to tear a strip off me in here? She's got him right under her thumb, Claudia. She's probably over there now, booking a luxury cruise for the both of them with my money. Well, she's not going to go splashing the cash now, is she? Well, she's done it before, David. No, I mean, if she starts shifting big chunks of money, it's going to be a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I suppose. What can I get you? Oh, the usual for me, please, Jenny. Oh, I've time out well, haven't I? Uh, usual for Leanne. So, how did you get on with signing the divorce papers, then? I took a bit of wrangling, but she's agreed to sign. Oh, no wonder you're buying the drinks, then. Lock up your daughters. Looks like Nicky's back on the market. Hey, he's not back on the market, thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, how did you go on giving her the money, then? I mean, you were tearing your hair out before. Well, it turns out it was due a lump sum from the restaurant. So. What, she owed you? Hmm. That's typical of you, that, isn't it? Fleece her for a load of money, you invest it in the factory, you dump her for someone else and you end up coming up quids in. <laughs> hey, Jenny, cancel that. Looks like we'll be having champagne instead. I never thought I'd be drinking champagne today. See? It's not all doom and gloom. I mean, yeah, you may be penniless and a bit destitute, but... Oh, make her feel better, why don't you? Excuse me, I don't think your money is very welcome in here. Oh, what am I saying? As if you'd use your own money. I'm not staying. I just bought you a little present. Oh. Those are my accounts for the last two years. I thought you might like to have a look at them. What, so I could see how much you've been spending with the money you stole from me? No, Ord. To show you where every single penny I've earned has come from. It's called success, darling. You might not be familiar with the concept, but I am. Oh, and I thought you might like to see these. They're letters from the women at Lewis's funeral. 
offering to chip in with the cost. Oh, and did they also offer to chip in with the cost of your extension as well? Darling, have you seen a portfolio of the properties that I own? No. I was in St. Lucia three times last year. I own a part share in a racehorse. Why in God's name would I be interested in stealing money from the likes of you? Well, I guess the police are trying to figure that out for themselves. Actually, no. I showed them these, and they have eliminated me from their inquiries. And as for having an affair with Lewis, quite frankly, I was never that desperate. So before you spread any more malicious gossip about me, think on. Lawyers can be very expensive. Well, why would I need a lawyer? In case I sue you for defamation, darling. Can't believe it. I was so sure Claudia was in on it. Oh, don't listen to that snotty cow. She's full of hot air. Yeah, most of it from a blow dry. <laughs> Yes, but what is she serious about suing me? No, trust me, she's just trying to put the frighteners on you. Isn't well, it? it's worked. Oh, well, come on, Audrey. It's not like you're expecting to get all that money, is it? Easy come, easy go, I'd say. Easy go? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to make her feel better, aren't I? Look, my hand's right. You've got to put it behind you. You never know whoever took it, so... Well, might pay back. <laughs> might want to do that. I don't know. They just might. Yeah, and if they don't, we can always get Nick to make it grow on trees. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm going to get off at... Um... See you all later. Okay. Ciao. Hey, hey, hey. What's all this? Oh, ignore me. Just feeling sorry for myself. I thought we'd agreed you'd put this behind you. Yeah, well, easier said than done. You know, Nick, uh, I had Archie's money in my account for, ooh, how long? Just a few weeks. And, oh, they were the most wonderful few weeks. I had the whole of the rest of my life mapped out before me. <laughs> and I can assure you, it didn't involve sitting on a bench outside this bed. <laughs> no, no. Sunning myself in the Caribbean. Yeah. Just like Claudia. Hey, 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 look. I don't want you to worry about money, OK? I'll take care of everything, I promise. Sweetheart, you are such a good man. You really are. Despite what everybody else says about <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, Nick, to be honest, it wasn't just about the money, really. It was... Lewis... who really hurt me here, you know? Telling me that... he'd really changed, yeah? And telling me that he meant what he said when he really loved me. And... Oof. Oh... I j How can you trust people? And you can't trust the ones you love. That's <laughs> <sighs> stupid. No, oh, we, well, we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah, you shouldn't blame yourself. I got conned by that Chris last year. You never see it coming, do you? Well, look, I, uh, I've got something in my chair. You know, I said I'd look after you, didn't I? So, I'll get you this. Oh. <laughs> it's a mini break to Rome. What? <laughs> Nick! Oh, bless you. Oh, Nick! That is so nice. Well, look, I didn't leave you out. I've got you this. Nick! Wow! Wow! That looks expensive. You've been uh, robbing a jeweler's. I just wanted Leanne to know how much she means to me. Hey, I need a photo of this. Flip it, I feel like the queen or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, just a coffee, please. Uh, can you make it four? Thanks. Actually, we just have a quick word, if that's all right. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that sounds uh, serious. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I just, um, I just wanted to buy something for David, you know, call it an extra birthday Christmas present for being a rubbish brother. Have you got any ideas? Hmm. I'll have a think. I feel bad not being there for him, you know, with all this Josh stuff. Surprised the kid's still alive, you know. 
we know what Davy's capable yes, of. Yes, we? we do. You know, with Callum and Clayton and... Callum, um... Um, what do you mean about Callum? Oh, I know everything. David told me all about it. Well, um, I, um, I think that is why Josh is still alive. Because, you know, once is enough. And it, it really messed David up and me too. What do you mean, once is enough? I, um, I mean, um, Four coffees. I'm gonna have to dash. See you later. We still gonna pay for these, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hello, Nick. Looks like a pretty expensive necklace. Mm, so what? Well. Yeah. Oh, well, now, lovely, you bought your granny and your mum a holiday to Rome as well. Have you been stalking me and Leanne online? No, I wouldn't say stalking, just keeping an eye on things. And you clearly aren't quite as hard up as you claim to be. Oh, I told you the truth. <laughs> you stole thousands of pounds from me, Nick, so how can I believe a word you say? Yeah. I paid it all back. Oh, my gosh, you got caught. Which made me think, what else you might have stolen that I've not found out about yet? There's nothing else. Yeah, you say that. But my lawyer's gonna do some digging and find out the truth. Looks like the divorce is on hold. Uh, just work, really, getting some bits of tea. All right. So you haven't been having any more arguments with your ex-wife, then? Right, she just wanted to go through some details about the divorce settlement. I thought that's what solicitors were for. Okay, solicitors are very expensive. Mm, right, so she drove the whole way here. She was in the area on business. What is this? Why are you grinning me? All right, I'm sorry if I've been a bit edgy. It's just after everything that's happened, I don't want any more surprises. There won't be any more surprises. Mm. See you later. See you. Thanks. Seeing Elsa today? No. Why? Well, I just thought maybe it was her who kept phoning. No, no, no. no. You'll call here. Well, who is phoning then? Uh, I don't know, but you know, it wouldn't be us. Do you know, I can't wait for this divorce to be over, then we can just forget all about it. Yeah, but you know what divorce is like. And solicitors, while well, there's money to be made, there'll be bones to be picked over. Ah, the old vulture cliche. Yeah, not you, of course. You're the only honest lawyer in Manchester. I. Please. Oh, sorry. Uh, every time I see the car key, I think they're mine. Listen, I'm sorry if I keep going on about it. I just want it to be over. Maybe I could do something to help. Oh, really? Yeah, like what? Well, maybe I could give a solicitors a nudge, you know. No, no, no. It's no need. I'm dealing with it. Well, it's not a problem. I mean, I do it for a living, don't I? And we're pretty quiet at the minute, so I could look into it all day if you want. Ah, uh, no, but look, if you're quiet, why don't we bunk off? Get in the car, go to a country pub, you know, forget all about solicitors and agree nice, huh? Imran, any chance I could have the day off? I mean, we are pretty dead at the minute. Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'll be helping Paul lodge Sally's appeal all day anyway. All right, thanks. Uh, see you in the cafe at 12? Yeah, perfect. Oh, Imran. Oh, well, now. Uh, do you think I could borrow my car for the day? It's my car, you sold it to me. And I need it, sorry. Hey, don't worry, I'll sort something out. It'll be mm. perfect. We'll drive miles away from here. Just you and me. Well, that's exactly what I want. See you later. Yep, see you later. A lovely time at your husband's 80th. Bye, love. Bye-bye. I just hope her husband doesn't sing because he sounds like a chipmunk on helium. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I bet he hasn't called her out of £80,000. Well, uh, uh, at least you got the money to lose. I mean, some people don't have a business or a home, do they? Oh, right. Now, talking about home, do you know, there is a very nasty smell in my dining room at Grasmere Drive, and I think it may be a leak. <laughs> I mean, if it is, Archie's money would have been very, very useful. Well, uh, do you want me to see if I can find someone to fix it? Oh, Nick. Oh, would you, sweetheart? Don't you are a good lad. <laughs> Come on, what can I do for you? Short back and side. <laughs> no, I just wondered if I could borrow your car. Oh. I was going to take Leanne on a country pub lunch. Yes, of course you can, lucky Leanne. 
Oh, no! Look! Oh, Mrs King's phone. Hold on, sweetie. I'll see if I can catch her. What do you want? No, 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 no. There's nothing more to discuss. No, no, no. You do not come to me. I come to you. And I told you, do not. Oh, ah, sorry, there sorry. you are. I thought you were going to stand me off. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, you are standing me off. No, it's just, uh, well. What? Something's come up. What's come up? I'll explain later. I've really oh, got to go. Nick. Oh, great. Looks like I'm having my lunch here then. What a waste of half a day. Oh, listen, if you fancy it, we can go to the pub for a bit once I've finished here. Yeah? Ah, oh, cheers. So, what happened with Nick? Oh, something came up. Or someone. What? Nothing. No, no. What, what did you mean by that? Just forget I said anything. David, if you know something, spill. Seriously, David, if you don't tell me what you're smirking about. All right, I, I heard him on the phone early and I know you sounded very cloak and dagger. To who? I don't know, someone, he didn't want him to come here. He said he'd go to them. Elsa? I don't know, couldn't he? But it was a woman. Oh, great, thanks, David. You've been a real help there. Cheers. Doing here? I told you not to come here. You were giving me the brush off. I was coming to see you. Saved you a trip. Oh, well, that's a bad idea. You know we have to be careful about people seeing you. That's your problem, not mine. What problem's this? Well, are you going to introduce us then? Thing. My solicitor. Solicitor? I get that all the time. It's the way I look, isn't it? <sighs> well, yeah, sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're just going over some details to do with the divorce. You'll soon have Elsa off your back. Oh, uh, I work at a solicitor's just down the road. What company do you work for? Vinico and Wallace. Uh, sorry, I don't have any cards on me. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of you guys, yeah. Uh, are you the person I spoke to on Nick's landline? Uh, sorry for pestering at home. Just been desperate to pin this one down. Ah, uh, no, that would have been my sister. Although she didn't say it was Nick's solicitor. <laughs> my secretary's on holiday. And my phone manners appalling. Will you be joining us for this meeting? Oh, no, no, I'll leave you to it. I'll see you later. OK, yeah. Nice to meet you. See, see you. you later, love. Been a Ken Wallace. I've got ads all over Nottingham. Why are you here? No rush. There, she can buy me lunch. That Bagora was amazing. Much better than anything at your restaurant. It's not my restaurant. It's Elsa's. Well, I might see if this place has got any jobs going. At least the food will be better. Huh. You're kidding. You shouldn't even be here. The place has gone to the dog since you left. Elsa's making us split all our tips. Right. How did you find me? Elsa's always leaving things lying around at work. That's how I got your home number two. You're playing a very dangerous game. Hi, um... Everything okay with your starters? Lovely, thanks. Um, I don't suppose you're hiring waitresses? Um, actually, we do have some part-time work. Let me check what shifts are available. You're supposed to be my solicitor. People here know me. Oops. <laughs> Oops. What happens if someone recognises you? There's footage on CCTV of you withdrawing the cash. The police are after you. OK. I'll go back to Nottingham. You'll go? Of course, I'll need bus fare. Yeah, how much you need? Two grand should cover it. <laughs> You're joking. I don't have that kind of money. Like I say, Elsa isn't exactly discreet. She's told me about your recent spending spree. And I'm beginning to think you got my services very cheaply. I am not giving you two grand. I could always get that job here, on your street, near your family. Right. I don't have it on me. I'm in no rush. There we go. Your mains. Um, we do have Saturday and Sunday lunchtime shifts available. If you'd like to drop a CV by. 
Thanks for checking, but it was for my sister, and she's just messaged. She's literally just had another offer mm. this second. Uh, sorry. No problem. Enjoy. Mm. Though you wouldn't think it, the way she was dressed. But she's legit. Well, I think so. I googled her. Firm's massive. Yeah. And to be fair, if he was having an affair, he'd hardly bring her to the street you live on, would he? Well, I suppose not. She's not really his type, anyway. Hey, David. Hmm? You know that woman Nick was talking to? You don't think it was his solicitor, dear? Uh, could have been. Now that you mention it, I must have just got wrong in the stick. Mm. Right, we're off. Bye-bye. Right. See ya. See ya. Have fun. Hi, I'm calling about my gran. She had her bank account robbed, Mrs. Roberts. Yeah, there's some CCTV footage of the woman taking some money out of the account. I wonder if I could come in and have a look. I think I know who it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, why do you think that Nick Slister travelled all the way from Nottingham? I mean, it wasn't exactly Kramer versus Kramer now, was it? You barely married a year. I also saw the post and you tagged me. Oh, the necklace. Oh, ouch. I'll get you a bit. Suddenly, the settlement is too generous and she wants to claw in the bit back. I'm so sorry. I didn't think. I was just so made up. Well, I'm sorry. Things stalled a few weeks ago. I just didn't want to lose you again. She withdrew <laughs> the money from a few different branches. Smaller sums don't raise as much suspicion. Now, this is the best shot of her first. Hmm. Yeah. Is that the best shot back of her head? <laughs> Hang on, wait. That tattoo on back of her neck. You recognise it? Nah. Sorry. I've never seen that one before in my life. Different branches. Smaller sums don't raise as much suspicion. Now, this is the best shot of her first. Hmm. Yeah. Is that the best shot back of her head? <laughs> Hang on, wait. That tattoo on back of her neck. You recognise it? Nah. Sorry. I've never seen that one before in my life. Why don't I take you to the bistro? Make up for missing lunch. Ah, oh, that beats one of David's peace offerings. A brew, or if I'm really, really lucky, a tube of Pringles. <laughs> You're really singing my praises again, are you? Well, listen, why don't you two come, eh? Do you fancy David, bistro? Yeah, you know what? The kids are still swimming with Toby. I'm sure his mum won't mind having him for another couple of hours. Well, why don't we go the whole hog and invite the crumblies? Are you sure you're feeling all right, volunteering to spend a whole evening in your mum's company? Yeah, and Gran. Why not? She needs cheering up. Should we say 7, 7.30? I need to go home. Oh, I thought you'd go for the hipster lock. <laughs> I can give you a tidy and a shave if you want. I thought you'd locked up. I can open again, can't I, for my brother? In. Branching out into barbering. Mmm, shoot me. Oh, well. I had it all mapped out, didn't I? As soon as Gran was going to hang up her scissors, I was going to refurb, rebrand all this and drag this place kicking and screaming back into the 21st century. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a wet shave. I think I'm going to use my teeth. <laughs> but now, all the money's gone. I'm up the creek without a paddle, aren't I? Gran's back in the saddle. It looks like it's dead man's shoes. Right. Tell me if it tickles. I'll tell you, though, if I could get my hand on the chance of the ripped her off. Yeah, shame Lewis is dead, isn't it? I'm not talking about Lewis. I'm about the real brains behind the operation. Uh, Claudia? I thought the police rolled her out. Nah. Not Claudia. Someone smarter than that. You know, I think this guy's a real slick operator. How do you know it's a guy? It's just the feeling I get, you know, the arrogance of it. But he'll trip up. And when he does, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Proper little detective, aren't you? Yeah. And it'll be a short conversation when I do.
Brown's money would have helped us all. Yeah, but especially me. Yeah, but I don't want to point the finger. How many times did we lecture her and bum? Don't open phishing emails, don't share your passwords. Did they listen? What, are you saying she deserved to get robbed? No. But that's what she feels like. She feels humiliated. Like the guy, whoever he is, is just laughing at her. Well, Lewis normally was. Look, it's not personal. Just a number on a page, aren't it? Do you reckon? What time is it they'll be on the way down no, the street? No, hang on a minute. Let me get this straight. So you think these scammers, they go from bank to bank? They never have a care in the world about the old woman who they're just ruining her life? I guess not. Well, I don't know how to sleep at night. Ah, that's enough. It was you, wasn't it? You took the money off Grant. I've got a shred of evidence. No, I went to the cop shop. Had to be an inside job, didn't it? I mean, look at the timings. Bit of a coincidence, innit? A good defence, probably you. And she covered her hair up really well. She forgot about the tramp stamp on the back of her neck. I don't worry, I didn't tell the police that I recognised her, but now I think it's coming back to me. Who put you up to it? Are you dreaming? What, Mr Nice? Nick, you sweat if you go over a speed limit. Who was it? Right, 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 right. There's no one. What? You just did it all by no, yourself? No, 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 I did it for Leanne. What, is she in it? No, 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 she's not in on it, is she? No! OK, I was up to my eyes in debt, OK, to Elsa. I couldn't risk losing Leanne again. It was a loan. Uh, uh, yeah, you say that now, Nick's got a blade okay, in my arm. she's not a frail old bird. This wasn't a life savings. It was just a chance win for for Margie. A lucky strike. I'm not proud of it, but you've done worse. You're going to turn this round on me? Is that it? Ask Gran. Ask Mum. Ask in right. the wind, Ash. You don't get I, to sit in judgment. I've paid for the things oh, I've Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karma, right? Are you going to bring Kylie into Oh, me? no, no, Is no. I wouldn't be so cheap. Cheap? Nick, you swan around like golden balls. Yes, Gran. No, oh, Gran. I've been you're jealous. Wrong, Gran. You're Tell jealous. Gran the truth. Tell her that it wasn't her okay, fault. Okay, right, I'm going to pay the money Tell back. Tell her that Louis I'm really I'm going to pay the her. money back with interest. So that's it, then. You're just going to leave her hanging. Oh, I think so. No, 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 no. I can't talk right now. No, Natalie, I am not fobbing you off. I can't talk. Please, it'll just take a minute. So, come on, Batman. Where's Robin? Yeah, yeah, you've not done a Vincent van Gogh, have you, and sliced off his ear? Do you want a glass of Prosecco or a beer? A uh, beer. Gran. Oh, thank you, Bethany. Thank you so much. People will think you were dragged up, David. 7.25 on my watch. He was early. Uh, not for a 7 o'clock start. Gran. All right. Who are you up here's Vincent? Huh? Still got a pair? Oh, yeah. What are you drinking? Uh, what's David having? Should we go and see? Oh, he's got a cut on his face. Did you see that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. You know, I was going to tell her in private. Spare her feelings. Maybe I just broadcast it in here. Maybe you should. Truth's important, isn't it? I need to tell them all. And maybe I'll go to Callum's family. They deserve to know how their son died. Actually, I think the police should open an investigation. Yeah, all right, fine. You ain't me. There's no way you're going to do that to Sarah and my kids. Try me. I'm done being nice. I just want the out. You'll be late for work. I need a word. Right, well, I'll just see you at breakfast. In private. Spit it out. Have you told Nick what happened with Callum? We said we weren't going to tell anyone. He told me that he knew everything. I put my foot in it and he was talking about Josh. Well, have you told anyone else? Gary. Sarah! No, he's not going to say anything, I swear. Well, how long's he known for? About six months. Oh, what, it just came up in conversation, did it? Why? Why are you asking? Has Nick said something? Hiya. Then you could fit us in for a quick trim, could you? Uh, yeah, sure. Take a seat. Great. I've got a job interview in a bit and I want to look a bit less... Heroin chic? Well, yeah. I'm rocking a rat's nest at the moment. I thought you were going to be late for work. What's all for you about? Yeah. Oh, hi, Gary. Finished already? No, no, I haven't. Um, looks like it's a, a bigger job than I thought it would be. What? Why? Um, so I've pulled up the floorboard to sort the leak out, and I'm no expert, but it looks like you've got dry rot. Oh, no. Oh, but 
It cost thousands to fix last time. Yeah, like I say, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. Just worried how I'm going to cover the expense at the moment. Well, let me go away, speak to a few guys and get the court sorted out, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah. See you later. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, my goodness. It never rains, eh? What are you going to do? Well, I'll have to find the money from somewhere, Maria. I mean, this place is the only thing I have that's worth anything. You're not thinking of selling? I may not have any choice. Have you seen that? viral video of that dude in LA who cuts homeless people's hair for free. Well, you're not homeless. I'm a little bit homeless. Are you saying you can't afford this haircut that I've nearly finished? I'm saying I can afford a little bit of it. All right, well, if all you can afford is half an haircut, that's all you're getting. What? Really? You can't do that? I'm sorry, I just wanted to look good for me interview. If I get the job, I swear I'll pay you in full. Don't worry about it, Abby. He's a good beggar at the best of times. What job is it you're going for, anyway? Fishmonger. <laughs> You'd be at work. I was. Sorry I put you in a tricky position. you got to give Gran that money back. Okay, okay, okay. I will, I will. Once I can, uh, once I can make back what I spent. It's not good enough anymore. Why? What's happened? Gran's on about selling her share of the salon. Which means I'm probably going to be out of a job, so you you got to give her that money back or else I'm going to tell her everything. OK. <laughs> Fine. Well, I'll go to the police, tell them about Callum. I don't believe you'd shop Sarah like that just to win a fight with me. Oh, i will do anything to stay out of prison. You're unbelievable, you know that. You look, I hate this. I hate this as much as you do. I was going to pay Gran back, but then someone found out, so... OK? I'm stuck with it. Oh, well, poor you. Why don't you use it? What? Why don't you use the money? Buy Gran's half of the salon, say it's a business loan, then she gets some of her money back, and you get to be your own boss. I'm not going to lower myself to your standards just so you can ease your conscience. Gran's going to lose the salon and half her money. Yeah. Because she's going to be better off than she is now, isn't she? It gives me some time to find a way of paying her back. Come on. Come on. Perfect solution. Hi, Claudia. Oh, uh, Claudia, thanks for coming. Well, I wouldn't have, but your text said something about burying the hatchet. Oh, yes. You couldn't resist watching me grovel. Now, listen, I so apologise for accusing you of stealing from me. It was wrong, and I totally, totally overreacted. Well, I'm quite happy to put it all behind us. You were under a lot of pressure. Yeah, well, that's why I've invited you, actually. Because, um, how would you feel about buying my half of this place? <laughs> you swore blind retirement wasn't for you, not that long ago. No, it's not. It's just that unforeseen circumstances means I've got to find some money. Well, if you're looking for a quick sale, I'm always looking for salons like this to invest in. Really? Sure. I could get the papers drawn up today. Today? Oh, well, I, I wasn't expecting you to decide that quickly, actually. Why wait? You need the money. I'm happy to give it. Oh, I don't know. Isn't it a bit rash? I mean, this was going to be my retirement nest egg. Well, tell you what. How about if I keep you on as senior stylist? That way, you can rebuild your nest egg. Well, it is a bit quick, Audrey, but, you know, if you need the money, then it's a good offer. Yeah. But, please, will you guarantee to keep David on? Of course. It sounds mercenary, but Gran isn't going to be around forever. May as well rob her while she's alive than dead. Oh, you just look at it as we're taking what's ours anyway. OK, just without the inheritance tax. I guess we're doing her a favour, then. I don't mean that. Look, it's better that Gran hands the salon down to someone in the family, yeah? You know how important that place is to her. She's promised it to you anyway when she retires. Have I got gullible scrawled across my face or something? What? Do you know who you remind me of right now? Twisting the truth. 
Always trying to throw everything back at me to manipulate me into doing what you want. That's exactly what Josh did. Oh, I'm nothing like it. After everything I went through, I swore to myself, I'm never going to let anybody control me like that again. Not even you. So I'll give you to the end of the day to work out how, but if you don't tell Graham what you've done, I will. I know we've had a couple of false starts, but, you know, it'll be nice, Claudia, to finally get to work with you. And you, sweetheart. Cheers, yeah. What's with the emergency meeting text? Uh, and what's she doing here? Now, I've got some news. I, I know it's a bit sudden. Uh, I've sold my share of the salon to Claudia. Already? Man, why? Dry rot. Hey? Did you not think to speak to me first? I not deserve that at least. Well, it all happened a bit quicker than I expected, to be honest. What, in the last two hours? Yes, almost. And anyway, what good would it have done? You've no money to invest, have you? And I really don't know what you're getting so worked up about. I promise you, your job is secure. Yes, I made sure of that. Well, well that's good, isn't it, David? Oh, so I was part of the contract, well, did, did you haggle over me? Where well, you can stick your job, you snotty nose witch. Oh, well, no, he doesn't mean that. Well, really. no, he does mean that. You can stick your job. Now, what's with the scissors? That don't a juvenile. Come on. This isn't juvenile, Graham. Oh, look at me! Silly, what look are you at doing? this now. Look at oh, me! Oh, that's Silly juvenile. Boy. You stupid idiot! Oh, so, uh, I got your summons. What now? I changed my mind. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to move the goalposts. Okay, you said I had to the end of the day. I'm trying to no, sort it. No, forget this. that. I want to use the money. What? You heard. Right, oh, uh, what, to buy the salon? No, that scraggly old boot, Claudie's already jumped in on that. But it's fine, because she said I can keep my job, so that's safe. Well, who did? Who? What? Who did? Gran did? Yeah. It just seems to me that every decision I ever try and make, people always say no. Like I'm some sort of spoiled brat, and I don't understand why. After the year that I've had, I've been through hell. I deserve better than this. So, yeah, if, if we can't get the salon, we use the money to get something else. Right, so Gran loses everything. This isn't the deal we discussed. No, I know. This is my deal. So you take it or leave it. Ooh, stay from the moral high ground. Why should you be the only one who benefits? I want to give Gran the money back, and you want to keep her. She stabbed me in the back selling to Claudia. I don't owe her anything. OK, just so we're straight. You are blackmailing me. I need to look out for my family now, Nick. I deserve that salon. Oh, no, 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 we're your family. I'm your brother, she's your gran. You're trying to blackmail me and you're trying to rob off her. Well, then we're like two peas in a pod then, aren't we? Bro. So what's it gonna be? You haven't changed. You lost the right to lecture me when you walked out on your wife after 10 seconds of clapping eyes on Battersby again. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. You're gonna lecture me on marriage? The bloke who shacked up with Shona? Out of three and a half billion women on the planet, it takes real determination to pick the woman who gave birth to the bloke who murdered your wife. Well, that's rich, coming from the bloke who did my wife. Didn't I pay for it? Huh? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one with the brain injury, yet you're the one with the screw loose. Face it, David. Is it any wonder Kylie turned to me? Oh, Freddie, no, are you scruffy, too? Don't. Don't talk about her. What have you done to your face? I walked into a door. I think I need glasses. Well, you need something. Between that and the cut on your cheek, it looks like you've been held hostage. Oh. <laughs> right. What is it, David? Yeah, I've got a G&T going warm over there. What I wanted you to be the first to know, Graham, me and Nick were going into business together. So you're looking at us, new barbershop. All right, Nick. I wanted to have a look at this place when Maria and Claudia, they were after it. But a barber's. Claudia is going to go spur. But why? I mean, the only blokes who come in the salon anyway is like Ken and Craig. And that's not exactly our target market. What is our target market, David? Well, you know, Adam, Ryan, that Ali. You know, blokes who spend more on how they look than rent. And you think this is a good idea, Nick, Well, yeah, of course he does. He wouldn't be investing otherwise, would he? And he's really good with money. 
Okay, there's a long way to go. We haven't secured the building yet, have we? It's not a done deal by a long chalk. You know, but I know the owners. They're dead keen to rent this place out. The estate agent told me when I got the keys. Just imagine it. Little table football, you know, bar area. Posh coffee. It's going to be a little gold mine, this place. Right, the boys have got some news. Oh, I'll see you over there. And where have you been? Oh, do you don't bark at me, please. So, what's the big news? It's not definite yet. Well, it's good as. Nick and David are going into business together. Hey, hey, hey. We're here to discuss my new business, not theirs. Yeah, well, you might want to hear about our business, Claude, because we're opening up a barber's in the same place that you were looking at on Victoria Street. What? Yeah, so I'll get the bubbly in, shall I? Do you really think you can railroad me into this? I think I just did. One black coffee. Thank you. No, they're coming in thick and fast this morning. Where have you been, your dirty stop out? Oh, Michelle's sofa. Um, can I have a green tea, please, Tam? Take out? No, I'm going to have a five minute soap before I go to work. Where's Roy? Well, I thought you might know. Sorry? Well, he called me and asked me to open up. And he didn't mention where he was going? No, he just asked me to look after the place. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. It's the anniversary of Hayley's death today. Oh, I didn't realise. You know what, now I think about it, he, um, he did seem a bit off yesterday. Well, he shouldn't be on his own, that's for sure. I'm sorry, I have no idea where he might be. I'll go and look upstairs, it's in clues. Yeah, so not only did she have a tattoo of a pair of scissors on her forearm, but she also had one of a comb right there. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> you all right? Hey. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, I had a while before uh, my shift, so I thought I'd come and spend a bit more time with my mate. And, uh, yeah, treat myself. To what? Head massage, you do head massage, right? Uh, yeah, we do head massages. Great. Might even get a manicure. Oh, yeah. Didn't have you down as a metrosexual male. <laughs> you know, you've been thinking about me then, have you? Oh, in your dreams. Oh, um, um I'll yeah. just... Yeah. Do you want to just sit? Yeah. Oh, what happened? Oh. Can we fix it? Gary said it was bad, but this, I mean, next door's floor has completely collapsed. Oh. I mean, there's no way I can stay at mine. Uh, what about insurance? Oh. Surely they pay for a hotel room. No, dry rot isn't covered. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't think I can handle this, not at my age. But what choice have I got? Oh, dear. So they're going to call him Bertie. Oh, that's sweet. Mind you, all babies are, aren't they, until they grow up? Yeah, well, to be fair, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Hello? Yeah, it's uh, Tracy. Is everything okay? Is Amy okay? The dentist? Yeah, well, that probably is because I'm surprised. Listen, I'm going to find out where she is and I'll give you a call back. Thanks. Problems with Amy? Hi, it's Amy. I'm not here right now, so just leave a message and I'll ring you back. Still not him? Um, oh, I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Look, I told you his bed's not been slept in. Well, maybe he made it before he went out. Well, Roy is nothing if not a creature of habit, OK? He gets up, he airs his bed, he makes it again at midday. All right, well, maybe he's gone back watching or something. He's been up upstairs. Stayed with a friend? Oh, Shona, come on, this is Roy we're talking about. He doesn't do sleepovers. Something's wrong. Are you sure you're not overreacting? Hello? Ah. <sighs> Sylvia. Hi, it's Carla. Carla Connor. Yeah, how are you? Oh, you're not feeling too good? Oh, OK. Roy, um, actually, he, he's up to his ears in bacon butters at the moment. Yeah, of course I'll get him to call you back. All right, hope you feel better soon. Bye. Sylvia, she's not feeling too good. There's no point in our worrying about him and all, is there? Hiya. 
Steve. Any luck? Tyrone's not seen him, neither is Cathy. Think, Shona, are you sure he didn't say anything this morning? Well, look, if there was something wrong, I'm sure we would have noticed. Oh, like Aidan, you mean? Roy is rational, if nothing else. It doesn't mean to say he wouldn't do something stupid. Who are you ringing? Police, please. Going on your jollies. Your grand's definitely got dry rot. I'm saying nothing. Until she's staying with us for a bit. Says who? Says me. Except this is my house. And this is your grand. Oh, girl, leave it. I'll go to a hotel. Uh, good idea. No, wait a minute. What is wrong with you? She sold our so-called family business from right underneath my nose. That's what's wrong with me. Because someone took all her money. David, if you stand in the way of this... We've got no room. Where's she even going to sleep? Leave that to me. Well? Oh, do what you want. You always do, anyway. Of course I do. I feel sorry for Gran, but where are we all going to sleep? Like Sardine says. Well, I thought if you two gave up your beds, then she could have your room. Oh, great. Well, where are we meant to sleep? What about Harry? Well, Harry can go in with Lily and Max can sleep on a camp bed with David and Shona and... You two can go on Lilo's in the front row. Lilo's? You are kidding me, Mum. We're not a couple of students. But what do you suggest, then? We can't just turn her out on the street. Well, just stay in a B&B or something. And who's going to pay for that? Your gran is a recently bereaved pensioner and she needs her family around her. Anyway... It's not like it's going to be permanent. I'll put the kettle on. I might have just stick some money in the airing cupboard. Everything okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everything's fine now. More than 300 residents I've, uh, I've brought a few tea towels with me from Grasmere Drive, because <laughs> gales always look like someone's mopped the floor <laughs> with them. <laughs> Probably because they have. <laughs> right. I'm going to nip out. I'll get a few big sauces. Oh, Tara, I am sorry. Oh, don't be daft. Oh, Gary, you were right about the dry rot. Only it looks a much bigger problem than we thought. Right. So I thought if you're still interested and like to put a quote in, obviously I'll get another couple to compare. Absolutely not a problem. I know it's not exactly your area. Oh, no, listen, I'll, I'll subcontract any specialist work. It's fine. Don't you worry about that. Oh, good. Well, if the price is right, I would love you to do the job. Oh, Audrey, that would be... Amazing. Thank you so much. Come here. Oh, come on. Mwah. Look, it's the least I can do. Oh, nice one. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Anyway, better make myself useful and go and chop the veg for Gail. Blow up bed unless you're eight years old at a sleepover. And even then, you need bribing with sweets. Well, it's not going to be forever, is it? If we get your grand's job, then we're going to be fine. I'll try my best, David. No, day, I know. No, I... I know I keep hanging on about it, but I just... I want us to have our own place, at, like... Hang on. What are you doing here? Oh, just decided to pop up and see Eileen for a few days. Well, why didn't you text me? I am, eh? <laughs> oh, it's spare of the moment. Hello. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on leaving without him seeing him. Dad, oh, that's a nice surprise. Hey. <laughs> and he's wearing the outfit. Look at you, eh? I know, he's grown out of the shoes already, which is a shame. Let's get you inside, eh? Come on. Mwah. Oh, I'm glad you find it funny. Oh, come on, it'll be romantic. Are you serious, really? We are sleeping on two plastic lilos. They're not even proper airbeds. In a room that in the morning is going to resemble Piccadilly Station. Oh, and one of them has a hole in it. Um, I think I've got a punch in it. Look, don't stress, right? We're going to be sleeping on the floor for a couple of weeks. It's no big right, deal. Right, so you think that this is an OK way to live, do you? No, but I've told you things are about to change. Oh, I don't believe you. Is this about Nicola by any chance? Oh, you. Honestly, your ego, it knows no bounds. No, this is about the fact that you think that our rubbish lives are so flipping hilarious. Well, look at my face. I'm not laughing. But while we're on the subject of Nicola, before you start dishing out more maintenance or buying ridiculously expensive outfits for your son, who has already grown out of his shoes... Right, so it's, it's, it's not about Nicola, no? Right, yeah, nice one. Um, uh, there's a tin out there, but it's empty. I'll get one, girl. Sorry if this is causing trouble. Oh, it's not caused them. It's it's just added to them. <laughs> oi! Oi! Drop it! Whoa. Drop it! Oh, God. 
Maybe he was chewing my bra. Hey. Oh. oh. Lilo's gone flat. Probably because the glue on the patch didn't set properly. I'll have a go with the puncture repair kit in a minute. I don't want a puncture repair kit. I want a proper bed in a proper bedroom. Yeah, I know, I know, me too. Well, there's still plenty of bounce over here if you want to come and share my sleeping bag. Mm. Oh, David? That's my knickers. In conclusion, I feel I've demonstrated my punctuality, efficiency, and ability to use my common sense <clears throat> uh, to make sure that the office runs more smoothly. And given that I've, you know, I've been working here for eight months now. You want a raise? Yes, please. You know what? That was an excellent presentation. No. No, then. You probably do deserve a raise. I sense a book coming on. And that just goes to show how perceptive you are. So it is a no? Yes, it is a no. But I, I, I don't want you to think of it as a hard no. I want you to think of it as a soft no. In fact, I'd go so far to say it, it is a soft no that could possibly develop into a maybe, and in the fullness of time, could become a borderline yes. Do you know how long this process might take? No idea, and I've got a meeting, so if you want to talk about it further. Here's Nick. Oh, no, no. I need the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if I give you a raise, I've got to give all the girls a raise. Right. I'm sleeping on a lilo with a slow puncture, and this morning, David ate my bra. David at your bra. No, David the dog, he ate my bra. Look, I've not slept for days. I need money. We need somewhere to live. You have money. You're my brother. Give me money. I can't be seen to show any favouritism. Well, OK, just just give me a raise and we'll not tell anyone. No, look, if I thought it was possible. Sorry. Oh, look, phone. Oh, it's Gran. Sorry. Oh, hi, Gran. Hi, yeah. Yeah. No more dry cleaning, no more coffee, no more biscuits. Nothing for you. Yeah, yeah, Gran, I'm still here, yeah. Give me a pay rise. Yeah, and they said that austerity was over. I've heard anything from Gran. No, she's still waiting for some more quotes. Oh, she should give you the job. You really think yes, so? Yes, I do. She'll have me to answer to otherwise, and then we can get our own place. Yeah, it's the first priority, oh, I promise. I'm exhausted. Any news on the big job? No, we're still on standby, but it's looking good. Hiya, mate. We're going for a lap round the red rack if you want to join us. Oh, I've, I've got to go back to work, but why don't you go? Oh, well, I should probably tidy the yard, look at it. No, it's been a bit of time with your son. Right. Give me a shout if you hear anything from Gran. All right, will do. Hiya, mate. You're a good boy. Uh, any sign of that cheese on toast? Uh, two minutes. Actually, do you know what? We're all right. I can see you rushing for me. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 no problem. Thank you so much. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> uh, two chicken butties to go. <laughs> Was that predictable? <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll be with you in just one second. Yeah, no rush. Look, why don't we scoot over to the bistro and have a proper meal? I can't really afford restaurants, can I? Oh, my suggestion, my treat. Oh, Abby looked amazing. I felt like Henry Higgins preparing her for her interview. Who's Henry Higgins? My fair lady. The one that turned Grubby Doolittle into the posh bird. <laughs> Come on, Kev. <laughs> Did she get the job? <laughs> but Abby will. Hello, Rose Rolls Cafe, Shona speaking. How can I help? Uh, no, sorry, Roy isn't here right now. Is there anything I can help with? Actually. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the call. Hey, listen, I'm doing all right for money. Why don't you take a break for a month or two from paying maintenance? Look, I know I missed the payment, but once I get this job, everything will be sorted, yeah? We can manage. I wouldn't offer if we could. Nick, thanks, but this job will see me through, yeah? Uh, can I have a quick word? Uh, just having lunch. OK, it's about my grand's house. Two minutes. It's OK. Go ahead. Right, she had the quotes. Yeah, it's not good news, I'm afraid. Oh, what? Yeah, look, she feels bad about it, but she could have gave for the lowest quote. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, hang on, hang on. One, why isn't she telling me this? And two, how could anyone have offered a lower quote than me? OK, you've got a bit of a temper. No, She's worried you might no, kick no, off. No, no, Nick, I'm, I'm not kicking off. Look, I put in a fair quote, and I've put off other jobs to do this one. OK, well, look. Money's tight, and she had no choice. Okay, so what, what if I lower my price? Uh, I'll look for cheaper supplies. Look, please don't do this. Hey, 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 look. I'm sorry. Decision's been made. Oh, 
I'm so sorry, Roy, but I had to wait until I could get away. You really need to get a mobile phone. Is there a problem at the cafe? No, it's your mum. She's poorly, she's really poorly, and she's asking for you. Okay, oh, thank you. So did Jean say what was wrong with my mother? Uh, just that the paramedics had taken us to hospital. She said she was feeling better when I spoke to her this morning. Sophie's a tough cookie. Come on, she's the toughest I know. Listen, thanks for holding the fort. Oh, no problem. A bit rusty. You're always happy to help. Uh, uh, hello. I, I'm inquiring about Sylvia Goodwin. It's her son, Royston Cropper. Oh, I see. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be there as, as soon as I can. Thank you. How is she? Uh, heart attack. Apparently, it's not looking very good. All oh, right. How did you not get the job? And what's it got to do with Nick? She picked the lowest quote. Okay, next question. Why didn't you give her the lowest quote? I put in a good price for a proper job. Have you been drinking? I had one beer in the beef store when you comes out. Oh, lovely. Oh, so you're off having a boozy lunch with your ex while we're sleeping on Lilo's and sponging off my family? Nicola is not my ex. Oh, sorry, what's her proper title? Oh, come on, that's not the issue here, Drunken is it? one night stand, shoulder to cry on when you couldn't talk to me, mother of your loved child. She paid for lunch. Sugar mummy. And you're the one that told me to go to the park with her anyway. Right, I'm going to speak to Gran. Oh, there's no point. But somebody has to do something. I can't live like oh, this. Babe, babe, this is my problem and I'm going to sort it, OK? So they can fast track her. Oh, there's no need. Listen, I've got one meeting tomorrow. I can easily reschedule. I'm fine. But I can drive if we go in my car, and we'll get there a lot quicker. I can manage. Roy, she's dying. You shouldn't be on your own. I, actually, I prefer it like that. I, I have dealt with grief before. OK, will you promise me one thing? What? Just call me when you get there. I promise. OK, and if you change your mind, I will drive down to you. I won't change my mind. I, I ought to go. I'll call you when I, when I get there. Do you think it'll be OK? Good news, eh? We didn't get Audrey's job. Well, listen, I've got a few of the leaves to chase up, so hopefully one of them comes off. I need work. I'm going to stand any chance of getting the swing. Yeah, look, Seb, I'm... I'm hanging by a thread here, mate. So the best I can do is just employ you job by job. But if something else comes up, then I'd take that if I was you, OK? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry, mate. It's all right. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Of our family. Yep. To be fair, Sarah, he's your boyfriend and you've been on and off so many times. OK, well, what about me? Am I part of this family? Could you not have done it for me? I have to take the lowest quote. Come on. Louis took all my money. Could you not have given him a chance to match it? He's a good builder. I've got to get going on this. It's my home. I haven't got time for doing and throwing. Right. Do you know, I'm not going to forget about this. I am sleeping on a lilo. Sarah. She'll calm down. You don't know. afford it to pay the extra, my love. Of course I would. But uh, I'm in such a mess losing all that money. Oh, it's fine. I understand. It's nothing personal. No, of course it isn't. I mean, that's what I told Sarah. I mean, money's so tight, I've got no choice. Hang on, Sarah spoke to you. Uh, yeah, she gave me a right flea in my ear. Hey, well, I asked her not to. Uh, yes, I know, and I should have told you myself, but it's just that, well, Nick was worried you might... Might what? Well... You might not take it very well. And do what? Well, I don't know, love. I mean, it was just looking out for me like Sarah's looking out for you. Yeah, well, I'll always be fine. Don't worry about me, Audrey. No, of course you will. And someone will turn up. It always does, doesn't it, eh? Anyway, I've got a dash. I just wanted to clear the air, all right? Yeah, well, the air's clear. Bye. Who would you be more scared of? Tracy. Oh, yeah, I've seen her in action. She can't half-pack a punch. Tracy Barlow is 
evil. We all know what she's capable of. Oh, Steve's more sneaky. I can see him throwing a low blow, scratching, biting. Yeah, and imagine having them both on the warpath at the same time. Well, there's a young man out there somewhere who's got their daughter pregnant. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes when they find him. <laughs> Me neither. Um, any news from Roy? Oh, not yet. But... Oh, sorry, um, we're closing in ten minutes. Uh, we'll give you Anne clearing up if you like. Oh, would you? Thank you. That'd be great. Mate, what's the point? Can't even afford to buy you one back. I wish that I could do more, mate. Well, you can. What? Put me in touch with that bloke. Joe, I could do protection work. Not a good idea. At least I could make some no, quick Just trust me. You don't want to get mixed up in that world. My choice. Just give us a number. It's not happening. For your own good. Evening. Um, what can I get you? Well, thanks for nothing, mate. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Sean. Okay. Joe, it's me. <laughs> yeah, funny. Not for me. No. You know, the strange thing about women, Harry, they think that the silent treatment's some sort of punishment, but it's not. Because I could go on like this for weeks. Hey, I wonder if he's meeting his ex-girlfriend for lunch again today. What do you think? Well, isn't this mature? How many times Nicola's not my ex? <sighs> so are you finding sleeping on the lilo? Oh, three times in the night I had to blow it off. It's a bigger letdown than him. Still, you've got each other. I mean, it could be worse. Worse? I am sleeping on a lilo in my brother's living room. How could it be worse? <laughs> Oh, so my love to Nicola. Hey. It's work. Look, tell me to keep my nose out, but don't you think you're being a bit harsh on him? I mean, he's trying. We need to get our own place, but I'm brassy. Does Sarah know you're looking for security work? Nah. Cross that bridge when I come to it. Stick to the building trade. The mate was telling me there's loads of work going in Qatar. <laughs> it's never run call me here, is it? I had a job offer in that part of the world once. Saudi. Yeah, what happened? Aiden happened. We had a baby on the way and that was the end of that. You see, that's it if you've got a family. You'd be doing this for your family. It's good money, tax-free. Six months in the Gulf, all your problems will be over. You know, you're talking about crossing that bridge. What the hell is he doing here? And it's not security this time. It's building work in Qatar. Qatar? Oh, well, that's all right then. I mean, as long as the commute isn't too tough. Well, maybe I should leave you to it, mate. But let me know what you decide. He has decided he is not going to Charlton with you. Never mind Qatar. So have a nice life and do me a favour. Do not stay in touch. Good luck. <sighs> Sarah, we need the money. It's six months. Don't you think you've put her through enough? Thank you. You don't have to do this. The offer's still there. The offer? Yeah, I said he could stop paying maintenance for Zach for a bit. So you're back on your feet. Is there anything else you haven't told well, I didn't me? Take her up on it, so what's the point in telling you? Thanks. I mean, why won't my nana tell me where she's going? Well, maybe she's fed up of being called Nana by a grown man. Are we having another one? Are you just gonna be talking about your nana all night? She's definitely hiding something. Go long time. What? Well, you're not gonna be happy until you find out what's going on, are you? Go on. Oh, lovely, thank you. Right, I don't want to talk about Gary. I just want to get bladdered and forget all about him. What time do you finish your shift? Oh, I'm not staying out with you, Mum. Do you know what? I feel like every time we're getting somewhere, it's like his garpers again. It's like Ukraine, Qatar, Bristol to see Zach. And this is you not talking about Gary, is it? I feel like he doesn't even want to be with me. Hello, is he? Oh, come on, come and join me. Have a drink with me. Oh, actually, I was just going to get a takeaway. Oh, it's all right. You can have one. Will you grab another glass, please, Bethany? Okay, just a moment, but I'm not staying out any longer. No, that's what I said. <laughs> Thank you. Sarah, have you got a sec? Yes, yeah, come and join us. Um, I'm really sorry if I upset you earlier. I just assumed that Gary would have told you. Yeah, forget about it. I have. Oh, no, I can't. Eileen's looking after Zach, so... Well, then there's no problem, is there? Bethany, will you just grab me another glass, please? <sighs> One drink. That's what I just <laughs> said. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, you know what? I've realised that we all have one thing in common. We all have history with Gary. I don't. Don't even joke about it. Gary's angels. Gary's exes. Well, I'm not an ex yet. Oh, it's nice to have something to aim for. How is a builder with a stupid little beard managed to bag us three? Seriously. Because he's a big ginger stud. Well, I wouldn't say big. Cheers! Cheers a lot. Little mix of let themselves go. Oh, you wanted to say the Spice Girls, but you just didn't want to show your age. Well, I did to sound like I'm past them. <laughs> you never had it. <laughs> Gemma, please could uh, we get four shots of Sambuki? In fact, make it five. One for you. Ooh, this shift just got interesting. Uh, uh, Mum, are you sure that you can afford that? Oh, I'll worry about it in the morning. Don't mind if I join you for a shot, do you? Okay. Well, uh, skills only. What if I say this rounds on me? Then I would say, Adam, you can be one of the girls. You can be um, tart and spice. Oh, yeah, which one are you? Well, you stick around, you might find out. You're listening. And what'd you eat your soup with? A spoon. <laughs> <laughs> How old did they get? Five. That's as old as the hills. No, no one is stupid enough to fall for that. Okay, ladies, I propose a toast. I'm Mr. Tartan Spice. Okay, here's to the top. 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 And here's to the middle. Middle. And here's hoping we all get a little. Oh, oh, I'll show you your face. <laughs> Gemma, can we have a lock in later? Yeah, of course. You can't have a lock in. What do you think I am? It's against the law. And we're in enough trouble as it is. <laughs> oh, sorry. OK, can we just please have the same again? In fact, make it double. I'm beginning to see a different side to you tonight. I always thought you were the sensible one in the family. Oh, I'm very sorry to disappoint. You said I was disappointed. Mm. Oh, the baby, get it on. Get it on, cause tonight, tonight is the night when to become one. Uh, Adam says that we can go back to his place. Oh, <laughs> I never even saw your lips move. Oh, that's fine. Daniel's still in the hospital, so I've got an empty. Woo! Come on, girls, what are we waiting for? Uh, I told Annie I'll be home at 7 o'clock, then 8 o'clock, then 9 o'clock. Oh, come on, just one more drink. No, 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 no! <laughs> I am going home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Right, come on, then. Let's, let's go. Do you know, I could murder a kebab. Oh, fine, whatever, I'm going. I'll walk in. Do you know I only said that to get a shot of her? So you don't want to call it a night? No, what I want is another drink. You know, I used to fancy you when we were teenagers. Really? Gosh, you never said. Well, you had a kid. <laughs> Put a lot of guys off. Couldn't have been easy. No, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. You know, Amy's pregnant. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, poor girl, what's she going to do? I don't know yet. Well, whatever she decides, just support her. I, my mum was amazing, and I could not have got through it without her. It must have been hard for you growing up without a mum. Yeah, I still miss her. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Doesn't quite go with my image. <laughs> what is your image? You know, cool, handsome, intriguing. <laughs> intriguing. <laughs> Little touch of the uh, old bond, you know? Women want to get to know him, but they never really do. <laughs> you know, I think it's working for me. I think it sounds a little more big-headed and cheesy. Oh, thank you very much. But I, I would definitely give you the handsome. I'll give you beautiful back. Oh, this is cheesy. <laughs> I'm beginning to go off you. Oh, I didn't know you were on me. I would be, given half a chance. I'm sorry, it's just, um, it's just my default mode, flirting. She's then having deep conversations about missing my mum. Do you fancy another glass of wine? I promise, no more flirting. Yeah, go on, why not? I swear it's true. I don't believe you. There is no way your first time was with your teacher. That's male fantasy. OK, well, it might have been a teacher, not my teacher. I mean, I might have been 17. Oh, you meant to be being honest with me. Well, I was in the end. Right, it's your turn. OK. 
If you were a free and single, would you let me kiss you? Oh, you can't ask me that. I just have. And you have to answer, remember? Okay. Possibly, yes. But I'm not free and single. Well, strictly speaking, you are. I mean, you're not in prison. You're not actually married, are you? Whoa! What are you doing? I'm sorry if I misread the signals. There were no signals! You were flirting with no, me. No, Adam, you were flirting with me after you told me you wouldn't. And you were flirting back, otherwise I would have stopped. Sarah! Sarah! What do you mean? No, I'm just leaving. It just is what it is, isn't it? Sarah! Sarah, come on! You're the one that came back to my flat and said they're going back to your boyfriend. Yeah, because I thought I could trust you. You were up for it and you know it. Wait, are you okay? Is he hassling you? No, I'm fine. No, I'm not, mate. So keep your nose out, all right? Looks like you are to me. Come on, let's just go and have Oi, leave her alone. Do that again, you'll regret it. Oh, my God! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, no, just stay away. You've done enough damage. Oh, come on, come on. I'm gonna take you back. Right. So, a family is in the bathroom. Let's have a look. Oh, my gosh. OK, let's do a swap. No, no it's OK. I'll, I'll do it. I know that you've got HIV, and I know that it's not a risk if you're taking your meds. And you are, aren't you? Yeah. Go on, then. Thank you. Oh, don't be daft. It should be me saying thank you. So, uh. What, what, what happened anyway? Cos it... Oh, it's it looked... nothing. Just a couple of us went back to Adam's and then when they left, he thought he'd try it on. What an idiot. Oh, I think he's drunk. It's no excuse, so... Mm. Oh, sorry, did I wake you? Oh, my God, what's happened? It's OK, I'm fine. Oh, who's that now? I don't think I'm very popular. <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's late. Looking for Sarah? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Going through. What's happened to you? Yeah, just what I was asking. Um, somebody jumped him, but we didn't see who. Oh, my God. Did you call the police? Nah. Well, they, they didn't take anything and they're not all on me, so... Yeah, we're all the same. But I'd rather just leave it. Honest. You didn't get her, did you, Beth? Me? Uh, no. Uh, I was... I was on my way back and... saw him and whoever it was had long gone. Right. Better get going. Are um, you sure you're OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry. I should have told you I got back in touch with Joe. It's okay. I think I probably overreacted. I just wanted to try and make things better, you know? Because you're right, we shouldn't be sleeping on your brother's floor. Scrabbling to make ends meet. It's not fair on you or the kids. I'm such a loser. Darling, no. You're not. I just... I don't think it's going to help you going away. And I'm... scared that we're not strong enough to survive it. Hey, of course we are. Don't talk like that. Come here. I promise I won't go back, OK? I'm sure things will turn around somehow. As long as we got each other, we're fine. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're gonna eat that. I'll just rearrange it. No, I just I feel too guilty. I can't afford meals out. Oh come on! Are you saying that I can't treat you to breakfast any day off? Besides the amount of booze that you put away last night, I thought you might need it. But if it's gonna go. Right, last, go on. You have it. <laughs> So, I'm thinking about sending out some more leaflets because, you know, spring's coming, so people start thinking about building work again. Yeah, maybe. Because trust me, hey, trust me, the fight back starts right here, OK? Yeah? Mm. 
Hiya. What can I get you? Ah, black coffee, please. Great. I'll bring it over where you're sitting. Hi, okay. Kev. Um, yeah. All right. No, I just wondered if you could have a look at my motor. It's just been a bit sluggish with it. Uh, not today, no. Bring it in Thursday. Thursday? Kev, I lived there. No chance you could see it before that. Sorry, I've had to knock Peter back this morning. He wanted me to sort his boat out, but I'm just snowed under. You want to get that Abby back? She sorted my gearbox out. She's too mouthy for me. I like a quiet life, but maybe she could help piece it out. Oh, well, I'm over the moon for him. What about me? I'll, uh, I'll see you Thursday. Right. Got the pens? Yeah. Well, you've definitely got the tape measure. Listen, don't you worry. Everything we need is in here and up here. Hi. Oh, my goodness. That's a hell of a big shopping list. You better take your own bags. It's an uh, ideas bag, Gran. Yeah. Going to sketch out some plans for the new shop. Look, why don't you let Gary take a look? I'm sure he'll do you a good job. Right, well, we're going to pick up keys now. Now? Oh, that's a bit quick, isn't it? Well, the lease is ready to sign, isn't it? Oh, so you haven't put pen to paper yet? No, but I've been sharpening my pencil all morning. Oh, David, look, why don't you just take a breath? You've been in that salon such a long time. Yeah, too flipping long, Gran. I mean, don't forget, this is all you're doing, you know? You, you chose Claudia over me. But don't worry, you know, it might be the best thing that ever happened to me, so... Right. We should go. See you later, Gran. Yeah, OK. Bye-bye. <sighs> hey, up. What did you do that for? You frightened me out of me wits. Come on, like, you don't have all the fellas blowing their horns at you. Oi, what have you got to say to Rita about last night? Oh, yeah, thanks for letting me dust at yours till I get myself sorted. You're very welcome. Just glad to see you both getting on again. For now. Anyway, got a dash. Oh, and a, sorry about the mess that I left. Did what, mate? What's he talking about? Oh, just leave me on the joke. Okay. Rita? Yes. Have you seen Jenny? Uh, we're just going across now, love. Oh, well, apparently she chucked everyone out of the pub yesterday. Not seen Aiden around ever since. Oh. Do you think she's all right? Well, would you be? I mean, for all we know, she could be in a cell tonight. Any news of Johnny? No, he's still on his way back from visiting Susie. I could flame and kill this. None of this would be happening if it weren't for her. Well, it's out of our hands now. There must be something we could do. There is. Be there for her when she's going off to court. It may be a... Um, what's this doing here? For the barbers? Yeah, we're trying to out of size, sale or return. That reminds me, you're going to have to get a lot more tattoos. What do you mean? We know the barbers by the station, Freddie Edwards, are covered in them. And he sells stuff. Not just hair products, but socks. Socks? Yeah, and T-shirts. Big margins, though. OK, well, before all that, don't you think you need to actually think of a name? Yeah, got that. Get a groom. Get a room? That's amazing, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Awful. <laughs> right, well, you think of one. We've got to go through these as well. Sea beans from the new stylist. Oh, football tables, new barbers. Where's all this money coming from? I told you, Anna owed it me from the divorce. And as if by magic, best of three. Right, a fiver says I can beat the pair of you. Well, someone's changed the tune. Turn her. Done. Right, well, don't spin in the handles. I know you. Oh, you thought you knew me. But be prepared to be educated. I am completely overstressed as it is. Look, even if you offered me double my fee, I still wouldn't... Oh, what are you doing? I'm your client now, yeah? You do that thing, no win, no fee. No. But you'll make an exception. Still no. How about if I smash your windows in? I can be flexible. I need you to get Johnny and Jenny off. Uh, I'm not representing them. I don't care, Jenny's innocent. Well, I'm sure the judge will take that into account. That's not good enough! Jenny's more like my family now than my own family. We can't just give up on her. We? All right, then, me. Well, I'm sorry, but the best you can hope for is that Liz gets her days wrong. How do you mean? Well, if she doesn't testify, the judge might dismiss the case. So if Liz doesn't turn up, then the judge could throw it out? In theory. <laughs> Philip, sorry about the interruption. Where were we? You all right? Oh, hi. So, go on, then. How was it? Was it dead romantic? Was what dead romantic? Last night, you and Gemma. You don't want to know about all that, do you? Why not? Well, cos we used to, you know. Well, it's fine. I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Well, if you must know, we got something to eat and then we had an early night, separately. That's it? Yeah, there's no one taking it slow. You always told me that. Yeah, but after all that build-up, I thought there might have been a bit more 
you know, fireworks. Like, I'm sure she's just saving it for next time. Yeah. You are seeing her again, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. There you are, then. Like, anyway, I've got to go. Yeah, see you. Yeah, that barber's I was telling you about. Hmm. Head stylist. A complete stunner. Are you talking about a bloke? No, no, bird. Didn't get a name. Well, does Leanne know you've got your eye on some mystery hottie? Oh, no mystery. She's their star signing. What do you mean? OK, so the place is packed full of hunters, OK? Yeah, you think they're going to be waiting for the guy. They're not. They're queuing around the block for her. More well, stuff than that, unless you plan to drag up. Mm. Or we hire someone drop dead gorgeous. We can't advertise for some fit bird, can we? We get lynched. We don't advertise. We just headhunt someone who meets our exact criteria. And what's that? Blonde hair, big rack. Oh, don't be so vulgar. She doesn't have to have blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! I thought me sure. Listen to me. You promise me you'll look after Rita, yeah? I won't have to. Everything's gonna be all right. What are you talking about? With your case, I'm gonna sort it. How? What I can't say exactly. But trust me, I am all over it. I'm sorry, love, but we're gonna have to go. I love you. I love you too. Is that Jenny? Yeah, she's going to court. Of course. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I was wondering if you fancy doing something like that. <sighs> Fingers up, I've got a lot on. You're not regretting yesterday already, are you? What do you mean? The kiss. Oh, no, no. Of course not. <laughs> Maybe a quick drink later, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, dinner time? Mm hmm. Well, see you later then. Yeah. What are you doing here? All I'm asking for is five seconds. If you've come to try to persuade me not to go to court, I've already had it all from Rita. I'm sorry, but I've got to tell the truth. What truth? It's Johnny what ran you over, not Jenny. Oh, that's all you know. No, he just said that to protect her. Now, if you don't mind, I've got somewhere I need to be. Go on, out. No! I know Jenny has done some stupid stuff in her time, right, but she's not an evil person. Why don't you try telling that to all the dirty old men who rang me up for sex? You what? Did she not tell you how famous I've become? Liz, come on. I've always looked up to you. Come on, you're better than this. Me and Rita have got a plan, right, but we need your help. Is Gran or Maria in? No, why? Did you want a cut? No, we wanted to offer you a job. If you wanted to jump ship and work for us? Me? Oh, Q is there. Oh, no, no, you're fine. They've come to offer me a job. Well, let's not tell everyone. Well, how come you're offering her a job? What about me? Well, well we would. Yeah, well, no, we would. We just thought you wanted to stick by Granny, you know, keep her company. What? And I wouldn't? Well, you're not family, are you? No, well, that's true. Do you mind? Oh, you know what? Forget the money. I'm sticking by Audrey as well. Uh, what? No, I, I, I don't think Gran would mind. I think she'd probably be glad of it if you left. It's not nice, is it? Steve! Right, definitely not leaving now. Huh. Looks like you two are going to have to go and poach someone else, isn't it? <laughs> go have a haircut. Hi, right, Gizmo. What's up? I need your help shifting something. Yeah. You up to your old tricks again? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, shifting dodgy gear. No, it's not like that. We get in on it at all. So, what are we shifting? It's not what. Who? Hey. What about uh, Andrea Abruzzi? Yeah, she works at uh, that Freddie Edwards. 
Oh, is this the hottie? No, I think her name was Rachel. But look, if Andrew is like a colleague, I mean, even her name is sexy. Come on, the new Ferrari Abruzzi. <laughs> I'm getting off on this. I, 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 look, I can't help it if men are shallow. Can I? Look, we're going to run a business. We've got to give them what they want. Yeah, well, forget all that. I've got a better idea. There's this second-hand shop in town, right? Walked past it the other day. They've got this stuffed weasel in the window. So? So, I thought we could buy it, you know, hang it up on the wall, sort of quirky. Well, we're not, we're not running a pet grooming parlour, are we? Ah, there you are. Have you got a new barber yet? Uh, no, we'll just go through shortlist. Okay, well, don't. I've spoken to Audrey, and she said that as long as Maria's okay with it, she's fine with me coming to work at your place. Okay, well, don't look too excited. Look, it's just that... Is it because I've not got that much experience? Because Maria's given me loads more training. No, 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 it's not that. Well, then what? Oh, it's just... Oh, look, will you tell her? Come on. You tell her it's your idea. <laughs> tell me what? Right. The truth is, right. he wanted to hire a bit of Totty to get the male ponders in. Is that true? What, so all of these are women? Oh, come on. We didn't want men ogling you, did we? Well, they shouldn't be ogling anyone, should they? Oh, come on. Girls are always ogling fit blokes. Well, maybe, but y you can't hire them specially. That's like pimping them out. Right. Well, I better tell everyone I won't be leaving after all. What are you doing now? I'm texting that Andrea Abruzzi. See if she wants to come in for an interview. Hey, Gemma didn't change her mind and go to court with Jenny, did she? Uh, I don't think so, no. I spoke to Johnny a while ago. He never said anything, why? Well, I was supposed to meet her, but she must have got held up. Cheers, Dirk. You just don't want me for this. Right, that'll have to do. Are you sure about this? Yeah, get move on. Have you heard about this? Oh, what? Uncle Nick and David hiring some barber. Oh, tell me about it. Honestly, they've also bought one of them table football things. It's taken up the entire living room. No, that's not even half of it. Apparently, they're only hiring hot girls. What? what? Yeah, I mean, is that even legal? Uh, no, it's not. Definitely not. Hmm. So, are we going to let them get away with it? Hmm, what do you think? Well, I think they've just started a war and I think we're going to finish it. Hmm. Everything all right? We're looking for Liz McDonald. Do you know her? Uh, yeah, is everything OK? She was due in court over an hour ago. I haven't seen her, have you? No, I haven't seen her, sorry. Uh, she might be over at the medical centre. She works there part-time. Cheers. <sighs> Talk about dozer. Yeah, you just drive careful. Last few minutes, then pulling them for speeding. You right? How did Jenny go? What? In court, you're asking about a case. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of this, um, this work in progress kind of thing. All right, well, yeah. it's all for me. Yeah. Drive, 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 drive. She might have done a run of oh, She'll be around. Hiya! Flory, Flory! Yeah. I think you're right, um, Jessica. It is important to have that rapport with the customer, isn't it? Definitely. Blokes aren't always the most talkative, are they? But I think they tend to feel comfortable with me. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, I think that's everything, Jessica. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Yeah, lovely to meet you. You too. Wow, 8.5. Can we not do that, please? I mean, she was nice, all right? Come on, come on. She's knock out. Nick, she's only worked as an apprentice. Yeah, but look. We need eye candy if this business is going to work. Yeah, exactly, which is why she's going to need to be able to at least do a short back and sides. Fine. 7.5. Have you ever heard of her? A... Uh, it's, it's Andrea. Sorry. Thank you. Hi. Uh, were you expecting a woman? Uh, sort of. Yeah, well, you must get that all the time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you take a seat? Okay, thank you. All right, boys. Yeah, we're just in the middle of an interview. Oh, interviewing already. Mm. The best talent in Weatherfield. Yeah, Bethany's told us about your plan to hire a fit woman. Oh, well, hold on. Then what are you talking about? Uh, that you did say you were expecting a woman, though. Hey, hey. Ah, look at this one, Siobhan. She sounds nice. Scored a solid eight. OK, right. That's personality slash hairdressing skills. Yeah, are you hearing this, ladies? Do you really want to work for these sexist pigs? Oh, what? no, don't. I mean... Oh. Ladies, please. please. Really? 
Well, I wouldn't work for those misogynistic idiots if they paid me a million quid. It just doesn't sound like them, sweetheart. Mm. They offered me that job. I don't know whether to be offended or flattered. Offended? I'm gutted. I was really looking forward to doing some barbering and doing something for myself. Well, there's more than one hippie barbers in this area. Oh, I think it's hipster, Audrey. Yeah, well, whatever it's called. I mean, there's a fair few establishments that are overcharging for crew cuts. They've been lucky to have you. Do you think? Yes, I do think. You're a very talented young woman and you need your independence. So come on, job adverts, page seven. <laughs> oh. While you're at it, have a look and see if anybody wants a very senior stylist. Because I think I might have to jump ship if Claudia keeps lording it over this place, really. Right. Anything promising? Well, um, no, no, nothing. Oh. Please have been round to the house. I'm, the I'm sorry, darling, but you haven't got enough X chromosomes for these two idiots. Mate, no, no, I'm not your mate. Okay, you wasted my time. Oh dear. I thought you two were better than that. So did I. We are. You were rating women out of ten. What well, I was. It's <laughs> really because you two are no more than a ooh, six, seven at best. You're, You're the six. six. Well, I think you're being pretty generous there, Myra, to be honest. We're talking about personality. I'd go for what do you say, Shona? Oh, I don't know, three and a four. You're the one going out with a four. Maybe not for much longer. Oh, hold on, I'm not a three. Call me a cliche, but I'm Zonos. shut up, David. Jonah, wait. We're looking for Elizabeth McDonald. Oh, uh, well, she's in court today. That's where she should be, but she hasn't turned up. Why didn't she show? Maybe she got held up, eh? Or changed her mind. Women's prerogative. Um, have you tried streetcars? Because her son works there. No, but we will do. If you do hear from her, let us know. Yeah? Yeah, of course. It's funny that, isn't it? What's that, mate? Oh, it was just this morning that your lovely sister here was quizzing me about that case. And what was it I said, Gemma? Oh, I've been me like a goldfish, me. Now, what I said, <laughs> that if the witness, i.e. Liz, went AWOL, then the case might be thrown out. And miracle upon miracles, Liz has disappeared. <laughs> You're right, yeah. That is funny. <laughs> Well, you don't walk that fast when I want to get back for match. Oh, leave me alone, David. Look, it was all Nick's idea. Yeah, which you went along with. Well, only because I want the barbers to be a success. Which it will be if you put the work in, not if you go for stupid gimmicks. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. So which fitty are you going to hire, then? We'll, we'll hire whoever's best for the job. Man or woman. Good. I'll give that Andrea a call, see if he wants a proper interview. Yeah, well, he might tell you where to stick it. I'll have to ramp up the David Charm one. OK, and how are you going to make it up to me? Well, I'll start by begging for forgiveness. So please forgive me, my beautiful, intelligent, strong, <laughs> independent woman. And then... Ooh. You've got to get back to work. No. Mm. Mm. I'll meet you in there. Oh, right. Well, whoever it is, tell them to jog on. We've got making up to do. Oh, hello. Sorry, I uh, went to the cafe, but you weren't there, so... Oh, yeah, that's because I was here. Yeah, of course, sorry. Um, you OK? I wasn't sure if it was the right person. Yeah, um, it, it's, it's him. What are you going to do? Um, I've got to go. There you go. Well, you're not showing her. Mm -mm. This is a surprise. They've lost weight. 
Ah, uh, I'm Demi Atkins. What do you want? How are you? Never better. I, um... I heard... I, I, I saw in the paper that... I don't know how to say it. Just say what you've got to say. Your dad's dead, sweetheart. Overdose. I'm so sorry. I know. Oh, come here. Oh, we've been so worried about you. Oh, Michelle will be so delighted to have you back. She's just chaining a barrel at the moment. I can't believe we're home and it's all over. It is. Thank God Liz didn't show. We're at the police round there looking for her. Oh, she'll turn up. She's probably sunning herself somewhere. Gemma. Care to enlighten us? Liz has been in the back of my van. Yeah, it was Gemma that put her there. Gemma? What's well, that to do with me? Liz is probably just... Sipping sangria in a sombrero. She will be in a few hours. Yeah, she just got the dates mixed up. She didn't think she was needed in court until next week. See? You must be psychic, Rita. She just forgot it was today. That's a long and short, ain't you? So, so that's it then? Yeah, lucky for you. Well, I think we deserve a bottle of fizz. She better not be in trouble with the police when she gets back. We'll stick to the story and everything will be fine. Dad knew everything, and now he's gone. It was the only thing keeping me going. What do you mean? This isn't like young offenders. This is proper hard luck blokes, psychos. And what, they're bullying you? Yeah, they keep nicking me dinner money and giving me wedges. You haven't got a clue. Well, you know what? I don't actually have to be here. I thought you cared about me for a minute. Don't you turn this around on me. Of course I care. Everything OK there? I didn't visit you because of what you did, you and your dad. Take a Why, seat, please. Why do you think I needed please. that money from you? So I didn't get my head kicked in. And of course, you don't Sit believe me. Sit down or you'll be removed. Well, no, actually, I don't believe you. Not after last time. Is that proof enough for you? Have you reported that? The screws can't stop him. Dad was... He was helping me, trying to find a way to get me moved. To where? There's an open prison in Liverpool. The only way I won't end up dead is if I get out of here. Help me. Please. Please, Mum. Don't kill me. I'm stressing. I'm sure she'll be here soon. Oh! Mm. I've made, like, a fancy tea roasted in aubergine. Mm. I've tasted some. Yummy. Did you get everything you needed? Hey. Yes. I told him that you'd forgot you needed to go to the cash and carry for Roy. All right, OK. Um, you didn't need to lie for me, Bethany. You were lying? Do you know what? I'm actually late for drinks with Emma. No, I hang on. Wait a minute. OK, then. See you later. She was lying. Where have you been? Oh, look, you know I'm sorry. I thought it was all right with everything that happened before. OK. Hi, my name's David Platt, and I'm officially a pig. But I realise my faults, and I'm on the path of becoming a better man. Good enough for you? Clayton's dead. Hmm? Clayton's daddy's dead. Overdose. Okie dokie. Ready for your moussaka? A oh, what? I mean, it's not like it's some tragedy, is it? So some low-life drug dealer's popped his clogs. Big deal. Couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. He's my son's dad. Well, funny if I've not got much sympathy for your son. Well, I went to see Clayton, OK? That's where I've been. Grubs up. I know you don't want to hear about Clayton, No, but... it's fine. You went to see him. You told him his dad's dead. You left. End of. Look, he's going through hell in there, OK? These men are threatening him. Worse than threatening oh, him. Oh, oh, really? Little Clayton getting slapped about? Look, I know you don't care, but what would you do if it was Max and Lily? Well, Max and Lily wouldn't kill anybody, would they? So now can we eat this before it's ruined? He wants to be moved to an open prison. I bet he does. Look, it's safer. I have to help him. Gone so early. Oh, they've taken Harry to Izzy and Jake's for breakfast. 
thought your shift didn't start till nine. Yeah, no, I said I'd open up early to Roy so I can have some time off later to speak to him, Ralph. To talk about getting Clayton moved. He told you then? You know what, actually, I'm glad he's just talking to you because he's barely said two words to me all night. It's hardly Alan Carr with me, look. I hate seeing him hurting like this. Maybe he just needs time to let it settle in. Lily! Get a move on, get downstairs in ten minutes. I'll see you both later then. Don't start. You all right taking kids into school? Yeah, cool. Where are you going? Oh, I've got barbershop stuff to do. I'm very proud of you, you know. What for? Well, you've been through so much this last couple of years, but you come through it. And look at what you're doing now. You and Nick with your own business. You've come such a long way. Lily, I don't hear any movement up there. Just talk to Shona. She deserves that much. What have you done, spatting her bonbons? Me and Brian have bought the cabin. Wow, that's great. Well, Rita doesn't think so. Now, uh, I wanted to get Brian a good look on your first day treat. Have you got out healthy? Uh, oh, yeah. Roy has started doing these apple slices with peanut butter. Will that do you? Yeah, I'll have one of them, will you? Forgive my tardiness. You're running late for your appointment, are you not? <gasps> I am, yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Roy. That's for Cathy. And I will <clears throat> be back as soon as it's finished. Uh, well, I can't imagine he's too happy about it. Oh, Gail. <laughs> Gail actually understands. Well, it won't just be the Platts who will kick off. Kylie's sister Becky, have you met her? She'll definitely have something to say about it. I mean, I know she's in Barbados, but I'm telling you now, you won't want to cross her. Yes, thank you, Leanne. Uh, sorry, didn't want to. Get you. Oh no, you're fine, you didn't. Um, yeah, take a seat. I'll make you a brew. Thanks. See, I don't want to cause problems, and it's not like I'm trying to get him out. I just want him safe. Well, I spoke to a contact. After Clayton was moved to an adult prison last month, they carried out an extensive security risk assessment. Right. From that, it was determined he belongs in a category C prison. There's no overturning that decision. Well, is there nothing we can do? I mean, you know, even though he's getting, like, threatened and beaten up. I'm sorry. Well, we could try and get him moved to a vulnerable prisoner's unit. It's got more supervision and is generally safer. OK, well, how do we do that? It's not going to be easy. Hmm. I need you to be the sensible one today. Your brother's not likely to be. Why, what's happening? Sean us all Clayton. Yesterday, she's trying to get him moved to an open prison. Are you kidding? Oh, I wish I was. Just when they're getting back on an even keel. How's David taking? Well, a lot more quietly than I thought. I mean, I'm worried it's the calm before the storm. He went off on this barber's shop errand before I got a chance to talk to him. Never mentioned Aaron to me. Why would he lie about where he's going? Well, I can think of 20 reasons, but none of them good. Yeah, oh, I'm sick of sharing it, taking advantage. He won't tell her where to go. I will. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Mum, I wasn't there for him last year, but now I will be. Try looking for a name, not a code. Oh, and uh, Brian, talk to Rita. Oh. Here we go. I'll take that. Thank you. Listen, I'm sorry if I was banging on about David and Becky before. My mouth works independently in my brain sometimes. You didn't waste any time, did you? Hey? Eh? Trying to get your kid an easy ride. That's not what I want. Do you even think how this will affect David after everything he's been to? All right, Nate, back off. Okay, what about Max and Lily? Have you told them you're trying to get their mum's murderer 15 years at HMP luxury? No, I'm just trying to protect my son. Oh, well, good luck with that. And good luck with keeping David after this stellar show of devotion. Oh, stop being so dramatic. He's gone missing. What? Yeah, he lied to my mum. No one knows where he's gone, what he's doing, thanks to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, you ring him, because I'm sure he wants to talk to you. Face it, you pushed it too far this time. It's over. Oh, absolutely not. Please, Mum. I am. I'd make sure you won't get caught. 
Okay, firstly, that is impossible. And secondly, I am not going to break the law. Oh, you'll be able to bury me next to me, Dad. Dad. Clayton. Clayton. You back? I am, yes. Uh, how, how was it? Um, show me. Uh, yeah, well, they've done a, a satisfactory job. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Well, it's part of my mother's legacy. I've just had it cleaned. Oh, I love a solid piece of jewellery. Mother always used to let me try on hers. She had this lovely pearl set that she promised would be mine one day. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh. oh, there's some writing in this. Yeah. RP. 010359. Rhea. Do you know that? Do you know an RP? I do not. What's Rhea? Chris Rhea? No, no, it's it's the wrong spelling. There's an H. Like the bird. Did Sylvia have an interest in large South American flightless birds? I don't believe so, no. I've no notion how this could possibly have any connection to, to my mother. A mystery? How wonderful. <laughs> Look, ju just, just leave all that, all right? You've done enough. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, well, you got it wrong. I'm not angry at Shona. <laughs> all right. She looked pretty angry there. I meant I'm not angry with her. Right, you need to keep it together, or we're going to lose all this. Oh, what? You're just worried I'm going to blow your little secret? No. Yeah, you are. You're thinking about yourself again, I. That's what you do. You know, that's the difference between you and Shona. She's just trying to make sure a kid doesn't end up dead. Yeah, at your expense. Look at you. Look at you all wound up. No, I've wound myself up, you idiot. Because I'm trying to be the bigger man and stand by it. Because that's what you do for people that you're in love with. OK, well, if she loved you, she'd understand how hard that would be. Look what the kid drove you to. You nearly blew yourself up, for God's sake. Yeah, well, if this past year's taught me anything, Nick, it's that anger and resentment, it doesn't get you anywhere. Wow. She really has changed you. Yeah, well, not enough, though. Well, I just want to be able to do the right thing and be there for her. But I can't. Oh, is he back? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Look, uh, can I have a quick word? I need to pick up Lil's from school. OK, what if that word was sorry? What? Uh, I shouldn't have spoken for David. I thought I knew how he was feeling, and I was wrong. Were you? Yeah. It's really changed, you know? More than I realised, and that's down to you. Look, you can't blame me for that. You do know what he's been through lately, don't you? Yeah, Come down, it's good. It's all good, you're good for him. You know, he wants to be a better man for you. And uh, I've never seen that before. I shouldn't have doubted your relationship. I'm sorry. Okay. Coke. Oh, well done. That was good. Okay, should we try this one with a bit of pink? See where that goes. He wants it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, You okay? Daddy, we've almost finished the unicorn. Really? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you get changed out your uniform? Then maybe we'll nip to the park. Yeah. I'm sorry for ignoring you. I'm sorry about my idiot brother, too. I shouldn't have said those things. He's already apologised. Well, good. He's an idiot. <sighs> yeah, you've already said that. What he needed saying twice is a massive idiot. <sighs> Listen. I'm not going to stand in the way. If you want Clayton moved, if that's what it takes to keep him alive. It's not possible anyway. Why? They won't move him. The best he can do is move him to a protected wing, but apparently that's just as bad in its own way. So. You OK? <sighs> yeah, I, I've just spent all day convincing myself that I'd be OK with the idea if he was in an open prison, you know, that I'd be able to support you. It's all right to be relieved. I don't want him dead. But you don't want him having an easy ride. I get it. And I love you so much for even trying to be OK with it. Of course, too. Communicating like adults. I'll be wearing cardigans and watching the 10 o'clock news next.
Show them. Yeah. What are you doing? Max is snoring, wake you up. <laughs> no, it's just getting some water. I missed you. Oh, you mean if you were getting cold? Yeah. You're going to warm up for me. <laughs> Since you are so nicely. Thinking Perky not back yet? No, Sarah said the film didn't finish till half eleven. Oh, well, she's going to be in a great mood tomorrow, isn't she? She's even worse than you with no sleep. Don't forget your PE kit, Max. OK. Come on, let's get our skates on. Come on, Lily, let me do this up. That's it. And if I were you, I'd put my feet up for half an hour, enjoying mm -hmm. peace and quiet. See you later. You know, I used to think having two bathrooms was a bit posh, but I tell you what, living here. <laughs> right, I'm off to join that slave driver boyfriend of yours. You have a good one, yeah? You too. See you later. Clayton. Surprise, I'm still here. Are you okay? What do you think? Listen, do you know anything about this DVD that's been put through our letterbox? No. DVD of what? This place. Of me and David asleep. What the hell, Clayton? I told them you wouldn't bring in the drugs. Oh, oh what? So they thought they'd intimidate me? Yeah, well, I'm taking it to the police. No, you can't. Someone broke in here in the middle of the night. There are kids here. What about your kid, eh? What do you think is going to happen to me if you go shooting your mouth off to the police? Or don't I count? So, so what am I supposed to do? I told you. They'll kill me and they'll kill you too. Oh, please, Mum. Just bring in the drugs. <sighs> to be honest, I'm just dead grateful to have a job. Yeah, so you should be. I mean, lucky for you, wrapping up pants requires very little skill. Uh, uh, cheers. Well then, if we're all creative types, who'd do the grafting? No, I was just saying he's landed on his feet, hasn't he, over at the factory with his skill set. Well, hopefully he'll be playing by the rules from now on. Well, you don't think there are rules inside? The difference is, if you screw up in there, you're dead. Yeah, but, you know, like, can't you talk to the guards, you know, if someone gets violent? <laughs> Lads get targeted. For sex, drugs, or just because it's a laugh. Your life can be made of misery. Well, how do they cope? I mean, how do they get it to stop? Some don't. Right? I better shift anyway. Catch you later. Yeah, see ya. Listen, um, I could have another coffee if you do a break. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not due until later. Right. Probably should head up the barbers anyway. Right, I'll see you later on. See ya. You bunking off? Just late for school? No, Billy left early and I fell back asleep. But don't tell him though, will you? He's got this thing about punctuality. Hey, do I look like a snitch? Breakfast. But don't tell Billy. Thinks I'm a full English kind of guy. Do I look like a snitch? <laughs> Clayton? Yeah. Are you okay? Help me. Why? What's happened? Do, have they hurt you? No, but they will. Mum. Okay. Um. Right. Tell them I'll do it. Whatever they want. Okay. And obviously I've not done this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. How am I even going to get the stuff? We'll find you. I've got to go. We're not in there. No, it won't be long though. No. Want to take the keys and wait? Yeah, go on then. 
A little bit. Good to see you. Oh, sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, no worries, love. We're answering enough as it is. Anyway, it's you that we've come to see. Sensible lad, you're Clayton. Well, if he's that sensible, he won't be inside now, would he? Uh -huh. Here's you as a big gobber. Word of advice, love. Play nice if you know what's good for you. A little present. What is it? Smarties. You don't need to know what it is. Well, I'm not carrying anything that I don't know what it is. Coke. All right. It's cocaine. Um, I was just waiting. Uh, these guys were just looking around. All right. I'm the owner. Yeah, all right, mate. We were just uh, checking the place out, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, well, well, we'll come back when it's open, like. We'll call first, though. Make an appointment. What was that about? And don't tell me a short back in signs. Look, I told you, I was just waiting for David, that's all. He followed me in. Why are you acting so weird? Well, because they were being intimidating, that's why. Why? What did they say? Nothing. They, they were just being leery. I don't know, maybe they're on the rob. Look, I need to get back. Oh, I thought you were waiting for David. Yeah, well, I'll catch him later. I need you to promise me that you and your mates will leave Clayton alone if I do this. Of course. I'm Max and little Lily. <laughs> They're your precious cargo. This is ours. How am I meant to get that into a prison? Wear a coat. It's too much. That's why you're going to be a regular visitor from now on. Well, what if I get caught? I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, well, what if they can tell? Oh, my God, my face. Make sure they don't, eh, love? Right, and you're going to promise to leave Clayton alone and the kids? You get them inside, get them to the lad. He passes them on. Happy days. Anybody home? What are you doing? Are you following me around today, what? Yeah, yeah, I am as it happens. You and your little mates. Empty it out. Oh, get lost, Nick. Oh, give me back! Okay. Right, just forget about it and leave, okay? What, are you mad? You're my brother's house with a bag full of drugs. To know what's going on, don't you? Clayton's still my son. And what if you call him? And what if I don't do it and he gets killed? What then? I'd never be able to forgive myself. Right, and how do you think David's going to feel when he finds out? Okay, so, you love him, he loves you, and that's what keeps him going. But if he finds out about this... Do you really think I want to do this? Okay, I am terrified, but I've got to do what will keep Clayton safe and keep this family safe. Okay, your son has nothing to do with this family. Do you really think they care about that? They have already mentioned Max and Lily. Yeah, 
So I don't actually have a choice in any of this. But if you think I do, Nick, please tell me what it is. Better not be messing us around. I'm not, I'm not. I just needed to tell you it's gonna be a few days. I couldn't get the visit in order. Don't mess with us. I'm not, I'm not, I promise. Because I'm telling you, if you don't get these drugs, all of them, into the right hands... I know, I know. I just... Please promise me no one's gonna get hurt, OK? As soon as I get the visit in order. Two days, then that's it. Yeah, um... Look, I really do want to do what you're asking me to, but I've just... I've never done this kind of thing before, so I don't really know how. Um... Are you stupid or what? Just do like I said. Get me some scissors. Right, what's he doing here? Are you setting us up? You stupid bitch. <laughs> Got it in one, my friend. A word against us? Well, not quite. Now take your stuff and get out. Well, that goes to the police. What do you reckon? Well, she's on on it too, so I think they will read your lips. Don't think she's gonna have a problem to you. Don't think about touching her son or her family. Okay? It's not the end. Lil, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if the oops, bloops are alphabetic. Spaghetti is spaghetti. No, it's not. It is. Max, will you tell her? What? Shona, will you back me up? Will you tell her that oops are just the same as alphabetic spaghetti? Right. Let me tell you a story about your dad and spaghetti. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. When your dad was young, for about a month, all he ate was spam and spaghetti. He used to put the spaghetti on the spam, roll it up in a fork, and down it in one. Oh, oh, listening now, are we? Oh, uh, it's just right, wasn't it? Clayton? You stupid cow! Do you know what you've done? Look, okay, just, just calm down. Okay, just calm down. You said you'd do it! I can't get involved with drugs, Clayton, okay? Not mine. Oh my god, you actually want me dead? They're not gonna hurt you because we've got evidence against them. Okay, we can we can go to the police then. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. Clayton. Clayton! <sighs> it was like he was holding a balloon between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Oh, he's not got you on earlys again, has he? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, he has. Oh. She wants water now. Where's my business partner? Oh, he's doing the rubbish. Oh, thank you. You're doing the right thing. Neil, it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, you've got no option. You would have been cool. Uh, and if you hadn't, they wouldn't have left it at that, would they? Would have been another packet and another until you were cool. Yeah, and what if they kill him? Am I? You don't know that. I can't pretend to know what you're going through. But you've got to stay strong. And I can help you through this. <laughs> 